this is wondering um, how you're using your urban planning discipline in your art. Yep. So um, it, we could have had a completely different conversation about uh, abandoned buildings. And, and then we could combine those, those conversations by talking about empty vessels and empty buildings instead of empty vessels and empty people. Um, I think that for me, um, having a private practice and a creative practice where um, the challenges that I observe in my city are challenges that I can kind of uh, take leadership in and kind of be a good neighbor. So, you know, in the neighborhood that I've, I've been working in for the last 15 years, uh, the neighborhood's called Grand Crossing, we've tried to systematically uh, create new amenities, new cultural uh, spaces, additional uh, housing in a safe zone. And we've done that by using, you know, land use planning techniques, uh, you know, kind of tactical urbanism techniques, you know, things that have a name now that when I was studying community and regional planning, they didn't necessarily have a name, you know, like maybe uh, in Iowa, it was more like Main Street USA or something, you know, but, but, but figuring out a way to um, use the tools of the city, that is like city government, the planning department, um, uh, the land use department, and, and allies of ours, like the mayor and the, and the commissioner of planning, you know, and then kind of having them focus on the problem of the Black South Side and say, you know, these problems are actually solvable. They require resource and uh, a strategic investment and vision, and it requires that the community is in on the, on, on the change. And so it's been really fun to, um, in a way, function like a private developer who is an artist who believes in equity in communities, you know, and um, in some cases it, it's a tall order and it doesn't always, you know, the work, the work is slow and we've been at it for about 15 years, but I feel like in that time we've been able to create a couple of pretty amazing cultural centers and about 80 units of housing that, that people in this neighborhood get to benefit from. So I, I feel like in some ways, the art practice has funded and fueled my investment in community. Um, and then my community investment projects have given soulfulness to the truth of, of the success of my artistic practice. 